Oh my god, give me that ammo. Oh my god. Ducks can die. Shoot all zombies. Oh my god, like a boss. A duck's opinion. Quack, quack, quack. Hey, is anyone else? What's up guys, a Duck Opinion here, and I'm going to do this full guide, pretty much I'm going to kind of chop it up and show you guys some footage already done and show you guys some new footage as well of every single part that you can make in Black Ops 2 Trinsic Mode, and like every single part. So the first part you want to realize and make is this fan, and these parts will be in the same place every time. The fan will every time be right there, the doll thing will be every time on the map, and the last piece you need is kind of really small to see until you actually know for sure what it is but it will always be over here by the phones it's right there and so this makes a turret and this does this probably does the most that anything does besides like the power switch and pack a punch but like this powers a lot of stuff it opens up a lot of random doors such as this one it opens up the power door soon it also it just opens up a lot of stuff. It also powers a lot of the stuff you can make, and you can also power up perks with it. So the turret is a very important thing, and it should be one of the first things you make so you don't end up spending 750 on this door for pretty much nothing. So that's pretty much it for this particular thing called a turbine. But um, I'm going to show you how to make the rest of the stuff. It might be in older videos, it might be in new videos, but we are going to make this one video show you guys how to make everything. So let's continue on. And so the next part is the zombie shield that you will find in the diner slash gas station. And the first part will be right here. Oh, you'll find it right there. Now, to put together this part, we're going to run back to the area, and I'm going to show you what it makes and how to use it. And uh, it should be pretty, pretty interesting. So you come over here and put this part together. Now, the last part you're looking for is a car door. It'll be in one of two places. It'll be on this wall, in this, in this building somewhere, or it will be in this bathroom. So let's go put this car door piece together, and I want to show you what we get out of it. We get a zombie shield, and I want to show you how this zombie shield works. Now you can hold it in front of the zombie, and you can just hit it. You can hit it over and over, and you will not get hurt. I think this works with multiple zombies as well. But the thing about it is, it will break down eventually, like it's doing right now. It will break down, it will tear apart, and before you know it, you don't have a zombie shield. This zombie is really slow though, he's really stupid, but as you see, it broke. So that's how to make the zombie shield. The next thing we're going to make is the turret. What's up guys, Duck Opinion here, and today I want to quickly show you how to make the turret. Now it's in the farm, so you want to jump out the farm, and there is three pieces we need to put together to make a turret. So one is a lawnmower. It can, um, it can be in a number of places, but mine was in the garage. Not the garage, but the shed. Why am I going in a garage? Probably because I'm saying lawnmower and it this just seems like it'd be in a garage. Thing. But it can also be over here past the shed type garage thing. And it can also be over here by the house. It has a few locations. Just look around and you will find it. The next thing we need to find will be located inside the house. And it is ammo for the turret. So put on the piece and let's look for the ammo. Now it can be on any of these little shelves and it can also be in this corner. But after looking for a minute, I have discovered that mine was on the table right over here by the TV, which was right next to the build station. So you can get pretty lucky and grab that stuff pretty quick. So like I said, it can be on those shelves, upstairs, in the corner, or where those TVs are. So the last thing is a gun to actually control the, uh, you know, so it can actually shoot the turret. So the gun can be in the farm. I did go into the farm and look around. It could be on upstairs or downstairs barrels, but mine was over here by the box location. It can also be there. Those are the three places. It can be upstairs in the farm or downstairs on barrels, or it can be the buy box location like mine was. So let's put it together and grab it. You will need a turbine to power it, and I kind of, it, it kind of... It's kind of weird because I wish it would just kind of power itself because the turbine after a while kind of breaks down and doesn't work and will lose power and it's kind of sketchy but I do like this turret. It is pretty cool so I'm going to show the turret a little bit in action here and um, I hope this video helped. I hope you guys can go make some cool turrets and uh, find a good spot to defend yourself. Maybe you can uh, get three players to have turrets and you can get one player to have um, 
an electrical power source, such as the turbine, and you can just put it down and make a really cool montage of you owning people with the turret. So the turret's cool and all. I like the turret. This is actually, that was the last thing I learned how to build, and I built everything but it, and I was like, what? There's a turret? So that's really, really cool. But this next thing I want to show you is, of course, how to build one of the major things in the entire game that you're pretty, pretty hopeless about. And that is the power switch, so you can turn on Lee Power, and I'm going to show you the video I made for that, and I hope it helps as well. So here it is. So I'm going to go ahead and jump down here and show you how it is. If you dolphin dive, which is this, if you do that down it, it will kill you. So make sure you just jump down it. Now we're looking for three parts. One of the parts can be here, which it is. It's this part. This One of the parts can be thing. right there, which it is, is the hand. It can also be right here. And uh, the, the part can be right here. The hand can also spawn right at these stairs. And they can also have a part that spawns right over here. So the workbench is here. And I want to put together three parts. There's the, uh, the part that goes on top of the power, right there. There is the leather part, which is, the leather part's usually in this room. It's usually on this, this, or this. But all those spots I've shown you, they will have the parts. Like, no matter how many, they will be random where they put them, but they will be close, and they will all be in this area. So let me go up here and grab this finger. I wish I could just, or it's actually a hand. I always call it a finger because it looks so small, but it's an actual hand. So, now that we have that, we need to make our way back and put the stinking hand in the bench and make it where it pulls down the leather. Now, um, when you do this, the zombies will die when you turn on the power if they're inside the power room, but if they're inside this little room with you, they will not. So that activated the power. Now you can turn on the power now, and you can also turn off the power, but you can only turn it on and off once each round. So we're gonna go ahead and turn it on, and we're going to keep it on because it is the power, but um, the next thing that I'm going to show you guys of how to make is the electrical trap, so let's move on to that. What's up guys, the Duck Opinion here, and it's getting to the point in transit where we uh, we did so much stuff that they just got to get rid of the minor stuff now, so we're going to put together this electrical table. So if you go to the power station and turn on the power, I don't even think you have to turn on the power, but you can start putting together these pieces. There is a battery, there also is a board, and there is this like little like broken light thing. Now these can be in random places all around this area, and I've seen them all in extremely random places. They can be anywhere, but they will be in this area when you're looking, so keep that in mind. And just keep looking around and build up these parts. There's only three. So we have two. Now, when I first thought about this electrical light, I was thinking it was for the him, the electrical guy, and you could somehow capture him. But it appears it's not. So here's that other piece. I don't know if it's like a mirror or a speaker. I don't know what this thing is. But let's go install it. So um, like I said, I'm not exactly sure what this electrical thing does. I know it kills the zombies and hurts them, but... If you see this piece right here, this is for the uh, quote unquote wonder weapon on this map. And I have a video of how to make that as well that I will link you guys in the description. So let's put together this electrical light and let's try it out. So it drops my turbine when I pick it up because you can't hold two things, but the turbine also powers it. So I'm gonna put it here, it's powered by the turbine and let's see how it affects the zombie. The very, very slow zombie. So it pretty much just kills them when they attack it. I'm not sure how much it could take out. But that is Lee Power Electric Trap. So up next we're going to show the quote unquote wonder weapon for the Easter egg, which is the super weapon. So let's move on to that. And today I'm going to show you how to build the jet gun. So you want to go to the power place and you want to get this cord. It can be on there, it can be over here, it can be anywhere inside the power area. It could even be on this barrel. But you want to get this cord. Now you may be like, why'd you get the cord first and not the actual jet engine? Well, it's just the jet engine's at the start and uh, you'll end up having to go back and get it anyway. So you might want to get that to the second piece and let get the cord for the first piece. So. You want to go ahead and uh, put the cord on the table here in the town. It is the only area that you can assemble the jet gun. And there we go. We have the outline of it already done. Now this did take me a good 45 minutes to do solo. And to be honest, this gun is not worth it. But I still want to show it to you guys because it is kind of a weapon. 
So um, this is where the actual jet engine is. It can be anywhere in this area. It can be in this corner. It can be up on the balcony. It can be over by these cars. And on this, uh, on this Let's Play, it was by the cars. So like I said, you can get yeah. this part first. But I'd recommend getting the cord first because you still have to go turn on the power and all that stuff. And you'll just end up dropping the jet engine piece. And it's kind of a hassle. So I'd recommend getting it second. So once we got these two pieces, one being in the power area and one being in the tunnel, we can assemble the uh, half of the jet engine. There's four pieces. So now we're going to need the gauge and like the uh, the grip. And um, the, uh, the little gauge thing is inside the hunter's cabinet. Now the hunter's cabinet is uh, very close to where the town is. You kind of run back into the town. You run in kind of uh, opposite way that the bus comes in and you keep left and you just keep on like keeping left. You keep on looking to the left. You'll see some fire, you'll see the ax and you will see the hunter's cabin. It is actually really close to the town and it's not that hard to get to. But it took me a minute and then I found the piece was sitting right there on the table. So um, try to try to watch out for the zombie runners you guys have because I almost went down but I had jugs so we're okay they also have the bowie knife here and so let's get out of this very scary demon Jason from Friday the 13th cabinet and let's go put the third piece on the jet engine so back in the town I'm gonna place the third piece on so there is one more piece and it's in a notch dirt and Toten, which is a uh, another hidden place which I'm gonna do a uh, I'm going to do a video after this about a few hidden places. I'm going to show off four things that kind of look suspicious to me that could possibly be Easter eggs. I'm not sure, but we'll talk about that in the next video. So let's go to Kino. Not Kino, but let's go to Notch. Notch, Dur, and Toten. I don't know how to say none of these damn Zion maps. Maybe they should start naming them basic American names. <laughs> but when you're in the field going between the uh, farm and the town, you will see the... Uh, the green light and that's really a good indicate to jump out there is this white car it's kind of piled up between a few cars that's the road you want to go down you want to go completely straight until you see the only left turn now this left turn is kind of hard to see but the left turn will lead you to uh, notch door on totem and in here which is the very first zombie map ever made the quote unquote prototype for world at war we will find the um, the leather that we need to hold which is right here on this table so let's pick up that piece and now that is all for the pieces now all we have to do is return back into town and put together this quote unquote wonder weapon now I say quote unquote wonder weapon because I'm about to show you why I don't think it's a wonder weapon all this is is a piece for the easter egg on um, one of the sides. There's the easy side of the Easter egg and there's a the hard side. And this is a piece for the hard side of the Easter egg, which I'm not sure. I might try to cover one day, but as of now, I'm still trying to do the easy side. The Easter egg's pretty much a pain in the ass, but we now have the gun made. But this is not a wonder weapon. This thing will explode instantly. As you see, it sucks in and the gauge goes up. If the gauge goes up into the red, it will explode into pieces and you have to pick up the pieces and put them back together, which I will show you here in a second but you pretty much just have to wait until the gauge goes down before you can in fact use this and this is how it works it kinda just sucks the zombies in and destroys them now <clears throat> I was trying to make a, a crowd of zombies and to see if it like sucks in a big crowd but this thing is a really really bad gun it's not that great it like it blows up almost instantly but you can get a good few zombies in but this thing, it doesn't affect the max ammo, the gauge doesn't, and the gauge does not go down fast enough. It stays really close to the red, and then once you get it close enough, as you see here, it blows into a whole bunch of pieces. Now it sets the pieces on fire, and you can pick them back up and put them back together. I've done this, and I found all three of the pieces pretty much right next to each other. They didn't really respawn, but the very last piece I found it kind of got buggy, it kind of got thrown into a table, and I was not able to put back together this gun. So once you get it, and you put it together, it's really kind of a one-time use thing. And it's a really shitty gun, and I don't consider it a wonder weapon. I don't consider this a wonder weapon at all. It's not a wonder weapon, it is a build weapon. And it is a really shitty build weapon at that, but I did want to show you guys how to build it. And as you see here, the last piece I couldn't find it, but it was like sitting here like glitched on the table by the teddy bear. 
Not sure what happened there, but I couldn't get it and I could not put the gun back together. But that is how you make the jet gun, the quote unquote wonder weapon. Though I don't consider it a wonder weapon, but I'm sure a lot of people do. But that is how you make that little jet gun thing. It's pretty cool. It's a pretty long little video there, but we are moving on to the table that you would need to put together for the Easter egg. So let's move on and check that out. So first thing you should do is the first piece of the Easter egg you need to grab is a meteor. It is in front of the bus and it is right over here. I will grab it and Jonathan here will take the uh, ladder. Now, um, me and him did do this part and um, it was really fun. And right at the end, we forgot a piece. So I had to do it alone. But most of the footage is going to be of what me and him did. And then at the end, I'll show you footage of when I did it solo. Now, from what I understand, you might not be able to do the Easter egg solo because there's a step where you need to have four players. Maybe you can do it solo. I'm not exactly sure, but this step I'm showing you right now, that is step one, putting together this table, is um, you can do it solo or co-op. And once you do this, this step, if you do it online, it will save your progress in your online profile. So you guys might want to come over here and turn on the power. Now the step doesn't actually require you to turn on the power the uh, actual easter egg we're going for you, you have to actually have the power off but it's just a little more helpful i think to turn on the power and you have to come this way anyway because you need to find a um, board and it could be down there which i will show you guys shortly so i want to show you where you need to go so when you're coming back from the power area there'll be these crops and jump out where the light is where the little green light is and you'll see this volcanic eruption and you want to go down the hole now you want to come up here and go right right left so i'm going up here and i'm going right and then right again and then just keep left now you can like you know you gotta swipe these guys five times to kill them or you can just turn around and shoot them but we eventually just end up here inside this little area where there is a radio tower now here in the radio tower is where we are going to assemble this table now this table is really hard to place down it's really hard to see there is no workbench it's just there so i don't know if this is going to be something i don't know it's just it's hard, it's hard to find so it took me a little while to get this and it took me even longer in um solo mode but we do eventually find it so this Easter egg is really complicated, and like I said, I think I will need four players to do it. I will try it solo, though, first and see if it's possible. I'll re-record it, and we'll do jump cuts, and I will show you all the good parts. But we just placed it down. It works, so we got to find some more pieces, and I will show you where they are. So, there is a piece here. This is the tunnel in between the starting area and inside the this cafe, like in between there. So it will either be there, inside the tunnel, or the, the plywood piece that you need can also be down here in the power area. It could be right there. So those are the two places I found it. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So by all means, get that and then go place it back into the place where the radio tower is. The next spot is over here in the farm. You need to open the farmhouse and it will be right here on the left side of the fridge. This thing right here. Now, sometimes it's not there. I am not sure. I apologize. If you know where it is when it's not there, leave in the comments, but I'm not sure where that is. So the last piece that we need after you get the little buttons of the farm, hopefully they're there, is inside the gas station. It's usually on top of this cabinet, but if it's this not on top of the cabinet, then it'll be at um, the very first zombie map ever made from World at War, and that map is a hidden easter egg in here so it can be there if the radio is not already here so we have all the parts let's assemble it all and there we go we now officially have put this together and we can hear him bitch about the easter egg so now that we have shown you how to put together the table for the easter egg let's show you how to pack a punch let's do this black ops 2 so what you want to do is you have to turn on the power first but uh this spot right here you're going to need to have a turbine put here to activate the juggernaut door to open. So uh, we had to put up with this electric guy through a little bit of drama before we had to leave this spot. He's kind of a pain in the ass, but he's kind of cool at the same time. But uh, more about the electric guy later when we figure out his story. Moving on, I had to run through the uh, area, but I did make it into town. 
and uh, Juno stayed behind. So when you get into town, you want to use grenades on the safe door inside the bank. And that will blast the first door open, and this will reveal the deposit and withdraw bank accounts. You can deposit and withdraw money, and you want to blow this door up as well. On the way to deposit and withdraw money, if you play online and you die with deposited money and you come back, you can get that money in a different game. So when you're here, you want your buddy to place down a terminal in a different spot here. Your power has to be on, but when they do that, this door will open like this. So I'm not sure if you can do this solo, like if you can open up this area and then go place a turbine and then come back. I will try to do that later and see if we can. But you end up in this area over here when your buddy places down that turbine and you pretty much find the pieces to put together Pack-a-Punch. Now if I'm able to do this, like I said a minute ago, if I'm able to go here and open it up with the grenades and go back and place down a turbine with like a crawler, and then if I come back, will the door be open? Now if that's possible, then hell yeah, that's pretty awesome how you get Pack-a-Punch, because I could do that solo. But if you can only get Pack-a-Punch well, with people, then I don't think it's really yeah. as worth it. Because then you're like, shit, how am I going to get Pack-a-Punch solo? But I'm sure there's a way to do it solo, and I will be doing that later on. And um, that's pretty much it. We're going to put together the rest of this Pack-a-Punch. We're going to Pack-a-Punch this gun. And I'm going to go back into town. I'm going to show you guys some footage of me effing stuff up with this gun. Because uh, this is my favorite gun on Black Ops 2, um, besides box weapons. This is my favorite like gun that you can get on the wall. And it's pretty beast, especially when upgraded. I also do know, I might be doing a video about it, not 100% sure, but you can pack a punch over and over and over. But what I've learned about it is, when you pack a punch for a second and third time, it costs 2,000 and only switches your sight. It doesn't give you any more ammo. So let's move on to the very last things that we can actually build, which is putting the bus together. So here we are and I want to show you the very first spot out of four that you can find bus parts for are at the very entrance. You open this up the turbine and there one is right there. It'll be right on the left before you leave. And um, yeah, this is a pretty awesome spot that can get you on top of the roof. I will show you where to put all the pieces to leave bus. But these are the last pieces you can actually put together. We went over every single last thing in transit. So you put it right there. And uh, let me show you the next spot. Let's get this done. I'm ready to move on. It's like a 22 minute video. So the next area is over here in the gas station slash diner area in the back here. And uh, this spot actually didn't have anything. There's four spots and only three places. So one of the spots won't have anything and it all will be randomized. So, the next one. spot we go to will be Lee Farm. Now, right in front of this big semi truck is this little area. You can only get into a turbine. You can only get in these areas turbines. You can't buy them. And there'll be this ladder. So, there's also the Galvin Knuckles back there if you were wondering. But, let's go show you guys where these ladders come in at. So, the ladder is pretty much, you put it on the opposite side of the bus. So, if you can't get to the bus, say if you're in the power area or the town, you can't get to the other side of the bus without this ladder. So, it's really helpful. And then you can also jump in of this piece. Then you can also jump up. So, these two pieces kind of go together. It's really helpful. Let me show you guys where the last piece is to the bus. The last piece is in the city, in the very back here, where they have Pack-a-Punch and Tombstone, if you're not playing uh, solo like I am. And it's this door right here. It's the only door that is back here, and it's the only one you can open with a turbine without any money, and there you go, the grill. That is all four I locations of where the three parts could potentially be. You put the grill in front of the bus, and if you get all these parts, which is pretty simple to do, in one game, it will give you an achievement for it. So let's run over here and um, put this part on the grill. So this was a huge video of collaboration videos that I made for a lot of parts. We went over the turbine, the zombie shield, the turret, the power switch, the electrical trap, the super gun, weapon, whatever you want to call it. We went over the uh, table for the Easter egg, the pack-a-punch, and all the bus station parts. And I am almost 99% positive that's all you can build. That is it. So I hope this helped you guys out. And if I missed one thing, which I'm pretty sure I haven't, leave in the comments. Let me know. But thank you so much for watching this huge, like, 24-minute video. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.